Hey friends, it's your boy Zero, and in this video, I'll be showing you guys the exact skincare routine that I've been doing for over five years now. So, without further ado, my friends, let's go. So, before I get on with that, let me just quickly introduce to you guys the products that I've been using. So I'm always a huge believer that if you want to get a really radiant and clear skin, you definitely need to invest a certain amount of money into your skincare products. So do be prepared to at least spend a little. <laughs> but I'm also a strong believer that it doesn't always have to be pricey. So as you guys can see, My skincare routine is really easy and simple to follow because it only consists of five products. So for the first product that I use is this face cleanser gel and this is for me to use when I'm washing my face to cleanse all the dirt and bacteria from my face and as you guys can see it is in liquid form as compared to the gel kind because for me personally I prefer something that is less harsh on your skin and the liquid kind definitely feels less harsh as compared to the creamy white kind of gel kind of cleanser so I honestly feel that it is not really important to understand your skin type but rather pick something that is less harsh on your skin so that it doesn't cause any irritation which in turn will lead to unwanted acne. So for the face cleanser, always remember that the most important part of choosing a cleanser is to pick something that isn't too harsh to your skin. So what you want to be feeling after the wash is that your skin feels really bouncy and clean and the most important thing to take note of is that you do not want your skin to be too overly clean because it just means that the cleanser that you are using is too overpowering and too harsh for your skin. So the purpose of a face cleanser is just to cleanse and remove all the bacterials. So what you want is just a gentle cleanser. So another question is how many times in the day must I wash my face? So that really depends from person to person. But in my opinion, I honestly feel that once a day is enough. And that is when you're taking your first shower or your first bath. And that is the only time that I actually wash my face. Unless on a really specific day, it was really warm, the weather is really terrible, then you need to wash your face the second time. Because it honestly depends on the person. Like for me, the reason why I wash my face just once a day is because twice a day is a little too much for my face to handle because I have really extremely sensitive skin. And the more I wash it, the more my skin tends to become drier and when my skin becomes drier it will start peeling off and certain part of my face will become oilier because it is too dry and therefore my skin needs to work like doubly or triply hard to naturally moisturize my face and when that happens my face will automatically become oilier than usual which leads me one step closer to acquiring another acne breakout so to me, once a day is the most optimal because washing your face too many times a day can strip your face of its natural moisture and its natural oil. But if you're someone that has no problem of washing your face twice a day, then you do you. So the second part of my skincare routine after washing my face is to moisturize. It is so important to moisturize because after washing your face, your skin is at its most vulnerable state and your skin is also really dry because of the cleansing. So it is really important to moisturize to bring back a little hydration to your skin. So what you want to be doing is to apply on your cheeks, on your T-zone and most important of all is the corners of your eye because that is where your wrinkles will start to form because the drier your skin the chances of you developing wrinkles is way more than with an oily skin so my third step after moisturizing is to use this acne cream that i got from my specialist so how you go about doing this is the same as how you apply your moisturizer put it over your face 
your T-zone area, your forehead, your chin, and just a little bit at the corners of your eye, and you're good to go. So what this does is it kind of prevents pimples and acne from forming. It is basically just a prevention because you know prevention is better than cure. And actually, we are pretty much done here. And the last step is optional. So why do I say it's optional? Because these are the products that I use for my last step and I'll only use it if I have like any form of acne or any scars that have yet to be treated. So what this does is it kind of dries up your skin a little. So please take extra cautious when you're applying this. You do not want to be squeezing a whole bunch of it and just dabbing it on your face because all the moisture will literally be sucked up. So just a little bit of this will do. So for example, if I have an acne over here, all I want to do is just squeeze a little bit and just dab it over here, rub it a little, and we are good to go. So if you don't have any untreated scars, your face is flawless, or your face is perfectly fine, then the last step is optional and you can just skip it. So that is the end of my really simple and easy skincare routine. So before I end this video, I just want to say that skincare is really really essential and at times it may be really pricey, but I believe with patience and time, you'll definitely find a product that is most suited for your face and your skin type, as well as one that will fit your budget just right. So always remember that it doesn't mean that the more expensive your skincare product is, the better result you will get from it. So a cleanser that isn't too overpowering, a simple moisturizer that will keep your face hydrated, an acne cream that will prevent your face from getting acne, and an acne gel that is only used when you have acne to help speed up your recovery process. So that is all that you really need in order to get that Korean glass skin. Cleanse your face well, moisturize it well, and you're good to go. So thank you for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace out my friends, see ya. Let's go, I'm just so, so